my full face tutorial, I'm going to be using this Cetaphil moisturizer and I like to use this as my primer as well. For foundation, I'm going to be mixing the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 112 and the Fenty Beauty in the shade 130. And I like to mix these because one of them is a little too pink for my skin and the other one is too yellow. So I like to mix these together to make my perfect color. It might not seem like my actual um, skin color, but after I bronze up and everything, it like goes really good with my neck. And what I'm applying it with is this um, Wet n Wild Concealer Brush. Now that I have that foundation all over my face, I'm going to be taking this Morphe sponge. It's the contour one. I think it's the only one they have. I'm not sure, but I'm using this sponge to blend all that out. To set my face, I'm going to be using the Airspun Translucent Powder and this one is in the um, Extra Coverage Run. And I'm taking the same sponge but I'm using the more flat side. And I'm going to be taking this, applying a little bit to my under eyes and then applying a lot <laughs> to the rest of my face. I do prefer you actually set your face with the powder using a damp sponge. That way the powder will actually mount into your face instead of a brush which will just leave a stain on the surface of your skin. Since I do use a lot of powder, um, I'm going to be taking this little e.l.f. contour brush and I like it because it's really like soft. So I'm going to be using this to brush off all the excess powder. To bronze up my face, I'm going to be taking the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer and I'm going to be taking a Real Techniques Cheek Brush and I'm going to be using this to apply that to my contour section and the temples of my, um, the temple of my forehead. Using this Real Techniques Multitask Face Brush, I'm going to be applying a little bit of powder on there just to help blend all that out. Now I'm just going to be applying some of that same bronzer onto my nose just to give it a little bit of color. And I'm using just this little eye brush, it's really soft so I like because it it's not that harsh. And then I also like to add some of that um, translucent powder and put it on my nose just to clean all those lines up. Using this Mario Badescu spray, I like the cucumber one, it's my favorite one. I'm going to be taking this and applying that to my face and going in with a sponge and pushing all that powder in the face to melt it so our face doesn't look too ashy. <laughs> For a highlight, I'm going to be using this Hard Candy little um, highlighters and I'm going to be using the lighter shade. And then I'm going to be applying some, of course, where you always highlight, like on your cheekbone. And then I'm going to be bringing that up a little bit behind my eyebrow tail. The brush that I'm using to apply this is the Set and Spotlight brush by Real Techniques. And I'm also applying a little bit to my nose. Using the same brush on the other end, I'm going to be taking the same highlighter in the same spray, spraying my brush to make that highlight more intense, and I'm going to be applying some to my inner corners. For mascara, I like to use the Bad Girl Bang by Benefit, and this is pretty much all I like to do for my eyes for my everyday routine. For the lips, I like to go in with just a solid lip gloss and this is by NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline.
Lastly, I love to set my face one last time with the Mario Badescu spray. So this is the end result on how I do my full face and and or my everyday makeup tutorial. Um, I hope this video was very helpful for you guys and easy for you guys to understand. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.